Guten Tag. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. What a truly weird experience. Um, as I said in the previous part, I, I like this game. But I just can't launch it every day. I can't play it every day. And I think the biggest problem is that I understand that every time I launch th this game is that it's quite short and every time I play this game, every time I approach, even if it's little by little, but I approach the end. And I think the biggest bothering factor for me is that I don't like when we have a good story and good characters. I don't like when their stories are not finished. And this game, if you follow the, the if you play this game, if you follow the story, you will see that even with the with that little DLC that they made the game still implies that there should be part 2 so there should be a, another game that explains and develops the story maybe finishes the story or maybe just launches another kind of a, another opening to the to this world And I'm having a hard time dealing with uh, with experiences experiences that are um, not complete. I remember at some point. Uh, so when I was a kid, I watched. Uh, it's just one of the examples, but there are a bunch of bunch of examples like that so when i was a kid i uh, witnessed the era of fox kids and jetix nowadays it's it's called Dis disney channel if i'm if i'm not wrong um and so i watched a bunch of channels like that nickelodeon jetix and a bunch of other channels and so there was a cartoon there which was called witch will irma tyranny uh, Cornelia and Halley feeling. The witch cartoon was based on a on a comic on a series of comics uh, by some Italian author. I don't remember her name. And so um, they made two seasons and then they cancelled the, this cartoon. It was made by, by a French animation studio. But what happened is that because uh, Disney had rights and Disney is an American company, they showed this cartoon in America. This cartoon didn't have enough ratings in America while it was popular all over the world. But it didn't quite work in America. And so what happened is that they cancelled it after two seasons. It was not a childhood trauma. So that's not the case. But it's just one of the examples of those incomplete stories. Um, there are a bunch of TV series like that. There are a bunch of movies like that that, that are, I don't know. It's planned to to make two or three movies or something, but because it didn't quite work, they stop everything. That's the case for I don't know, Chronicles of Narnia, 
we had only three movies while there are what six or seven books uh, the, the the examples are numerous and I just I I really don't like it and I feel like there is something incomplete in the experience and I just I don't know I feel sad I feel sad and weird um, and I don't like it I don't like this feeling it's not like I'm crying or something but it just feels, you know, or I feel, I'm in a complete despair or whatever. I just, I don't know, the experience is incomplete and I feel like something's missing. Like you finish the story, I'm used to stories that are finished. Like when you watch a Harry Potter movie or a Lord of the Rings or something. I didn't feel anything bad, as I said in the previous um, video. I didn't feel anything bad because those experiences are complete um, and good wins over evil and we see happy ending for the vast majority of kind of uh, characters and their stories are complete in this case the story is not complete and I just I don't know I we need more of these. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel bad. I really do. And I'm taking two. No, not even two. Uh, maybe I I took uh, one week to process all of that so it's been it's been a week that I didn't play this game for you it's nothing better, you want it to fall down hold on don't let go coming through But you will watch this part, uh, this I don't know how many parts. You all see. Uh, you'll watch them in one day. For me, I take weeks to process it. As I said, it's not a. I mean, it's not only because of that. Of course, I got other things to do, and I play other games. And, I'm studying and stuff, so it's not the only reason. But partially, it's because of of this weird um, of the weird kind of experience I have in this game. Everything's fine, except for the fact that the game is not complete. There you go. Ooh, Royal Gardens. I actually don't like this location. But I think it's the Royal Gardens that it's the concubine, right? Concubine. Um Whatever. Forget what I was saying. It happens.
that there are a bunch of uh, blue platforms. Where can we go? Where can we go? Reservoir? You know, I was thinking about the why uh, good stories are important and I feel like we have... I'm not gonna speak about everyone, I can only speak about myself, so... Um, uh, but I feel like for me good stories are important because we have a lot of kind of disappointments in real life. And I have them as well. Uh, we can uh, kind of um, we can deal with all of them. Sometimes it's just like that. We can't change much. Uh, Any more out there? Um, even if it sounds sad, but. That's the reality. Sometimes it's some certain things are out of our control. Um, but Here. this is why seeing there. stories with kind of good endings, uh, when kind of um, our heroes struggle and they are. Um, um, they struggle, they they fight someone and in the end they, they maybe or they have some kind of an adventure and they succeed in their with their task or tasks adventure or whatever. Um, I feel like it gives some kind of a hope that maybe not everything is lost uh, and things can be good eventually and it allows you to um, focus on something else focus on something positive because sometimes when you have um uh when you have hard time um when you're living hard times in, in your life it, it might be um, you know having additional disappointments is not um this is probably not always good for your mental health or something. So, you know, when you see a, a good story, when you witness it, when you follow all, um, all the adventures, when you follow all the kind of... Uh, thought process, the, the maybe the changing of a character or something of the main uh, hero, uh, then it's probably something positive, right? And you, you kind of feel 
you feel good about it, more or less. Um, while if, if if you feel some kind of um, if you feel like. Thank Ormaz. Well, if you um, where do you want me to go? It's not. It's not here that I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to? Excuse Should me? jump on the wall. to go down but I can't go there. He's falling and dying or something. It worked this time, that's great. It's not exactly where I expected to go. I need to leave this place. Oh. Well. Um, so if you if you um, if the story is not complete, if 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 events are s sad or maybe disappointing, like in your your heaven it. You, at, at the same time, you're having disappointments in your in your real life. Uh, then, in the end, kind of, you got the question: What is even the point to, to play the game if you don't? Especially, I'm speaking particularly about story kind of driven games, right? Maybe that's not the case for games for mobile games like uh, LOL or Dota or um, some shooters like. Um, Call of Duty or Apex Legends or Fortnite or something. Um, there might be some stories there, but it's not. It's not really a um, story-based. Uh, those are not story story-based video games. They are more like based on just some actions, action-based video games. So if in story based video games you are you're not feeling any positive emotions then what's even the point to play them? I'm just following the same way. Enough. Whatever I'm following. It said that there is no fast travel function here. It's like, you know, the logic is simple, um, something somewhere should be good. If everything is bad everywhere, in real life, in the video game, in somewhere else, then it's just like a, you know, a big, um, a big pile of disappointments and sad events. Then. And it's kinda... 
Rana, my Let me help you. Thanks. And it just at some point it starts to. It's a little bit like a snowball effect. Um. We need at least something positive in our lives, otherwise it will be a, a complete disaster. things in the sky. Armor? No, these are the alchemist's work. These things are incredible. You think we could use them to fly? Once this is over, they should be destroyed. Why do you want to destroy them? What is born of evil carries its touch. This land should be purged. Come on, talk to me. I'd rather we just kept moving. This place is crazier than a boat shop in a desert town. You know, it makes me think about all those kind of movies and, and um, or cartoons or something where there is some kind of a tyrant or an oppressor or something. Um, 
That doesn't look like it was built by the Uruk. It was built by their hands, but only once they've been enslaved. It's one of the Alchemist's machines. The Alchemist doesn't look like the type for midnight skinny dipping. So what did he keep in that? Corruption. He pumped it to other parts of the city, manipulating it, changing it into new forms. None of this looks a thousand years old. I mean, it's decrepit, but not that decrepit. Once he was gone, we, the Ura, used it to feed the city with water until it stopped working. By that time, the thinkers, philosophers, alchemists had all left. There was no one left to fix the machine. Since then, it's fallen into decay. You use this to feed the city with water? So not all the alchemist machines are bad. Oh, they are. We just put this to good work after he had been imprisoned. Huh. Imagine this, full of water, surrounded by nature. Your own private oasis in the middle of the desert, eh, princess? That's me. I'm all about excess. Did you have your own handmaidens, too? You can feed that part of your imagination without my help. Chances are, when the alchemist refills that reservoir, he's not gonna put water in it. Will we find some more light seeds? Talk to me. I'd rather we just kept moving. I just... <laughs> this uh, ironic comments. <laughs> it's just... Uh, I mean, she's doing a great job. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's, who's worse at this point. Him or her? <laughs> it's just... It's great, it's great. I told you, their dialogues are just, there are random comments, random interactions, they're the just too good, it's just... <laughs> the fertile ground is at the bottom of that vessel. You put the fertile ground at the bottom of a reservoir? How better to protect it than by putting it underwater? How about putting it under several thousand bucket loads of corruption? That's my bet for what the alchemist is planning. The plate over there must lead down to the bottom. Well, I hope you're ready for trouble. Because if we have to go swimming in corruption, well... I didn't even bring a towel. What's it make for this kind of thing? Their dialogues are probably the best thing about this game, or one of the best things. At least for me, it's probably top one. I wonder what the alchemist intends to use this for. Maybe he wants to keep fishing. Come on, even corrupted maniacs must do something in their spare time. Ready for the next plate? <clears throat> I still can't see where we're going. There's no sign of the alchemist. If the alchemist is waiting for us, he's keeping a low profile. <laughs> There's something about her sassy answers, but she's not being disrespectful. She's, it's, those are like this little jokes. She's not, uh, as I said, it's not humiliating you. She's not trying to offend him or something. It's, it's being sassy, but in a good manner. Like, it's acceptable. Or maybe it's not even sassy. It's more like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Call it however you want. The music is not bad as well. Watch the edge. Here we go. We're trapped. And you didn't think of that before we came down into a giant bowl.
still fighting. annoying. Button. what he uses this place for. Any chance you could heal it and get us out of here? It's much nicer now. Nothing's trying to kill us. There's no chance this place is gonna fill with water now? The mechanisms are ancient. It's unlikely any of them still work. Okay, that wasn't a no. But I haven't come this far to get drowned in a desert. Let's get out of here. You're not being a... a good gentleman. Mr. Prince. <laughs> Much as though I might need a bath, I don't want to take one now. The plate should allow us to leave. When I get back to civilization, I'm gonna take a bath. Nice long one. Crystal clear water, incense, and uh... And if you want your back scratched, you can use the stick they'll give you. What does the alchemist do with all of this stuff anyway? The writings do not say what his experiments were to achieve. Only the horrors they visited on our people. Will we find some more light seeds? Oh, oh me. yes. Altar girls and gold. Her comments. This place needs a lot of work. I don't know how, you know, 
Incoming. In the, um, if you take the perspective of a game, these comments seem to be cool and fine. It's fine to be sassy sometimes. The question that I have is how are this, um, how, how are such things are, um, can be replicated or more like um, how such things are in real life whether it's um, fine or not because I understand that at some point it's a little bit like with I don't know it's a little bit like with candies or chocolate or no matter what you take your favorite dish um, candies are great while you eat a little bit of them even if you eat I don't know 200 grams 300 400 500 okay, whatever but if you eat candies every single day for a very long time at some point candies will you will lose the kind of taste of, of them and that's what I experienced in myself with uh, fast food um, when I was living with my parents I didn't go to fast food enough we were going sometimes but it was like a forbidden fruit it was like a, I wanted to eat there I wanted to go there more often when I moved away from them, closer to my university, I started to eat way more often in, in fast foods, different, different things. But what happened is that But what happened is that at some point I started to understand that like it doesn't mean that I was eating every day or several times per week but I was going there quite often maybe a couple of times per month something um, but over the time I started to understand that I, I, I kind of I lost this feeling of, 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 I lost the taste for fast food. I do go there sometimes, nowadays, but it's just, um, it's not that often, maybe one time Please per month or something. Um, it's because at some point I went there more often and then at some point because it became kind of something banal for me uh, it was accessible before it was not accessible it, w it, it depended on the mood of your parents whether they wanted it or not you could have asked them maybe but it was not always uh, they didn't always accept it and so when I moved away from them it kind of a uh, it was a relief. Um, you were free. You you could do whatever you want. And I started to. There were days when I just you know, I only ate chips and nuts and I don't know and, and bread sauce or something. Random different things. Um, um, like peanuts or something. Um, but, um, I, um, as I said in the very beginning, it was kind of a feeling of a freedom, but then, um, that was close. it all started to became something banal, banal, you know, um, and so I just 
started to go way less uh, to to um, fast food. So I started to go less often, which is probably not that bad. Ooh, hey! a mistake. Cost me a mistake. Mm. But you see, this is why with the with ironic comments, with the sassy behavior and all those things, it's fine when it's sometimes when it's not too much. But if you're being ironic all the time, if you're being sassy all the time, um maybe maybe at some point it you might get tired of it. So it's something that we need to take into consideration when we speak about it. And so, um, as I said, I like this type of... I like the comments that Elika is doing. Uh, it seems funny, but it seems funny in the... Um, um, in the context of this video game. I don't know how in the context of a real life it, it would be. She doesn't seem to be doing them too much. She's doing them sometimes. So it seems to be as I said. She's not abusing it. She's not saying anything bad. But it's fine. But. It's still. Um, it's still something that you need to think about when you think about such things. Now this looks more like a royal palace. The Spire of Dreams. It was built for a queen two, three hundred years ago. The last part of the palace, the city to be completed. It was a tribute to the queen from her king, the Spire to Dreams. A place to look into the future. And you really tell the future in this place? That would come in handy. It's symbolic. The spire is to show you what you can achieve if you dream. My mother used to tell me whatever I dreamed of here would come true. What did you dream of? The usual childish things. Oh, come on, I want to know. What did you dream of? Far off places. There were merchants that came here. Fewer and fewer over time. They'd bring things, dresses, spices, plants. They'd look so different from the people here, smell different. If I closed my eyes and breathed them in, I could see where they came from, hear the sounds in those streets. Now you can go to those places. Now, if you want, I'll take you there. Sure. We can look up there, but unless your magic's given you wings, we aren't going anywhere. Let's go on. Settle down, find a girl, adventuring will kill you. I think my mother was right. I hate this place. Those cranks down there, what are they all for? These were the royal gardens. The cranks controlled water flow to the fish ponds. Looks like the water in those ponds has turned to corruption. What happens to fish if they're corrupted? They die. Well, I suppose that's not as bad as some of the things I was imagining. Ramaz, can you hear us? I mean, I, uh, when I say I hate, it's just you need to turn those 
things, but I want things though. Whatever they are. And I'm not sure. With one it's fine, with the second one I always have problems. I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. The right, the right one or the left one? Whatever. The Royal Gardens. I wish I could have come here more often. I never found the time. Life just slips you by. One minute you're rich, the next you're staring the end of the world in the face. Or the knee. And how big is Arm? He makes even your ego look small. Oh, well then we really need to stop him getting out. Let's use the plate. <laughs> Ready to face certain death again? Don't die, too early. I need you. If these were gardens, where are all the plants? The corruption must have killed the few that were left. The rest... Oh, this place hasn't been tended since my mother died. There's a plate attached to that pillar over there. We can raise it if we fill that pond. It's a counterweight. The cranks control sluice gates that let the water flow to those control ponds. Any idea which one we move first? I think we should start over there. But as for how we open the sluice gates, I only ever saw the plate raised once as a child. And I've never seen the plate active. Which crank should we push? Just pick one. We can figure it out. Right. And keep an eye open for any of our friends. Temple guards, pirates, crazed mobs. Oh, those are the good times. Okay, I'm ready. Careful. It's corruption flowing through there. But the counterweight should still work. It looks like each crank controls more than one sluice gate. We'll have to figure out which one opens which to make a channel to the control ponds. Yeah, great. These cranks are linked to all of the pools around them. We'll have to remember the changes they make. Pity you can't remember the order. I was eight when I last saw them moved. That's still not right. The cranks move in both directions, so we can correct them. We can work this out. Any suggestions? You're the world-traveled adventurer who's seen it all. I thought you might have an idea. Terrific. <laughs> you get the feeling we're being watched. It must be the concubine. Let's keep going. Don't you think it's odd the concubine's not appeared? I mean, we've been sitting here and she's done nothing. Maybe she's not that bright of a concubine. Maybe she didn't think you were bright enough to solve the puzzle. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. Let's try another crank. Wow. Think, think. That was a um, Maybe if we move another one. crank. That was a um, What now? We'll have to find a way to align the gates. Why can't no. I see what to do? Huh. I can't see it yet, but there has to be a solution. I wish I had listened. About the intelligence one that was uh yeah. That was kind of rude. Oh well.
made this thing. <laughs> The problem is that this didn't get only two of them. Somehow, that was weird. That was by accident. It was not me. <laughs> or maybe everything was calculated. We used <laughs> this system to water the plants and to keep the water fresh for the fish. Now they're decayed like everything else. I'm all for the stories, but do I look like a fish farmer to you? No, don't answer that. I'll figure this out. How many more ponds do I need to fill? The first control pond is flooded, but we'll need to fill the second one, too. I can figure this. I can figure this. I have faith. Yeah, but in who? I hope that smell isn't me. Or you. Do we start with there? Right? Right. Need to turn this in one time. I think there is a very easy way to do that. One time, and then you turn it another time.
these two are correct. I only need this one. I need to turn it horizontally. This thing should go top something. Life is difficult when you got no clue what you're doing. but not quite. Gardens, I hate you. That's official.
this is uh, such a disaster. That's what I'm missing. It needs to go over there. Someone kill me. <laughs> Eat me corruption. I hate royal gardens. This is awful. There is a very specific way um, to, um, to do royal gardens actually. You need to turn uh, things four times. You don't have to go into deep analytical thinking. Uh, but the thing is when you already started to turn this things um, you bury your own grave you bury yourself alive This one, some. But I can't seem to. Okay, turn it. the fertile ground. I'd figured that one out too. I was I actually wanted to go back there, but apparently it worked. 
I, that's great. I suppose. We need to use the plates then, huh? That's the way up. Do we need more light seeds? Boston in some kind of a state.
Where's she gone? I'm fine. Thank you. Are you sure her disappearance isn't another illusion? I can move. She must have gone. Well, then let's heal the ground and get out of this place. time here. I used to come here with my mother. Yeah? I don't think she'd be too impressed with the way this place is now. There were fountains all around here that watered the plants. Trees, flowers, herbs, spices, things you didn't see anywhere else. They must have been from before, or from outside. She'd bring the children here to look after them. I never got into gardening, you know? Hey, they're just plants. We can get you some more. I find Farah. We can ship them in from wherever you want. Flowers, trees. You're a princess. You deserve it. Yes. You can make these gardens grow again. Yes. I think we can get down now. Yes. Please, let's leave. When was it that she... When did your mother die? Three years ago. Since then, all these places have withered. When she died, it was like hope left the kingdom. Since then, the plants, the people, the whole place, it's like they died too. It's a shame the healing couldn't bring the plants back. When I was a young girl, there were fish in these ponds. They went with everything else, left unattended. Maybe Father was right. The quest of our people is past. I know there's more to you than meets the eye. Well, you're just going to have to use your imagination. So, we already have some clues, but we will have even more clues when we collect 340 light seeds. So let's try to collect them and then we'll see another video when we visit the temple. If we jump down from here, we can use the plates to get out, right? Elika? Yes, yes, that should be the way out. Shall we find some more light seeds?
There's another one. Our boss. Three hundred and forty, and what is the next number? Five hundred or six hundred? It doesn't double them. Just another feeling of yours? No, it shouldn't be doubling. Six hundred lights, it's that's a lot. We'll go over there, but maybe later. Elika! Where 
It's funny, it makes me think about Titan Quest. I am strong enough. Let us go back to the temple. The realm of souls or something. Uh, in the Titan Quest Immortal Throne. Immortal Throne. You kind of visit the, the Hades. Us. And it looks kind of the same way. There is some kind of an entrance. I think it's not a tree, but it it looks like uh, some kind of energy in in the case of Titan Quest Immortal Throne. It's uh, those are souls that are living, but in a very similar manner, and um, and it feels like that hole that uh, this black thing is living, corruption or Arma, the presence of Arma or whatever that is, um, is that that. That tree looks like a like an entrance. Hmm. We need to heal uh Alchemist. Let's see what you're doing there. Uh, green. Well, let's unlock green and then let's unlock blue or blue and then green. Whatever, let's unlock green. That will allow us to enter fertile grounds in the City of Light and the Royal Palace. Are you ready? Dead. Yes. Yes? I was. I'm not now, so why does it matter? I was trying to reach the fertile grounds to see if- And you died? Yes. The fertile grounds had failed even before my father split the tree. Oh, well, that's all right then. The tree didn't matter. My father had already broken the lock that held Araman. He broke it to bring me back. He'd never have done this. It was the grief. He was... He was a father. I just want to fix this, please. We can't let Aramon escape. It's not your fault. It's Aramon's. You hear that, Aramon? We're going to fix this. You're not getting out. That's how you got your powers. When your father brought you back? <laughs> you still want this magic? 
All you have to do is die and endanger the world, and then you too can do these things. It's not your fault. It doesn't make it better. I thought healing these lands was supposed to keep him in. It will. We just need to heal more of them. Armin's getting stronger. The temple is getting weaker. Even though we've healed all these fertile grounds? We must heal them all. Until all the fertile grounds are healed, until... Until then, he can still escape. I'm trying not to think. I realize what's happening here, I might just lose it. How do we go on from here? Ready to go on, Elika? You know what's interesting? By the canon... The canon. Uh, usually when you make a, a, a deal with the devil, you need to pay something, you need to pay a price. And when the contract is broken, things get back to as they were before. So, logically, and I'm speaking, of course, I played the game, but logically from a perspective of a, like a, I don't know. I remember when I watched Supernatural and when they, when people were uh, making deals with the crossroad demons, they were, aka, it's the same thing as a, a deal with the devil. Um, there is some kind of a contract. You get something, but you pay something. The vast majority of people paid with their souls, but it's not the, the point. The point is that when they try to get rid of that contract to survive because they were given only what five six seven or ten ten years i think something like that uh ten years of prosperity or whatever they they wished love or whatever and if they try to trick or get rid of the contract or do something uh they just lost everything they couldn't do that easily but if somehow they managed to do that um they just, in the end, they, they they couldn't keep what whatever they wished and uh, keep their kind of soul in their life. So, um, logically, if father revived her by making a deal with Armin, if they will seal Armin, things are not going to be... Um, Elka won't be alive. This um, looks like a bearded guy, right? So I suppose it's. I don't suppose because the problem is here. It looks like a creature. Is this the Armin and Ormas? Or vice versa. Because logically, if there is a tree, logically, one of the explanations might be that if there is a tree, then this is the one, this is someone who is related to the tree. It might be Ormos who kind of created it, right? But it might be Ariman as well. But at the same time, why this bestial creature would be Ormas? I don't know, that's weird. It's weird that the, they are not fighting with uh, Elika's father. Um. And another thing about the, the, you see, now we understand that what is, what happened, what happened, um, would have led us to the point where we are, where we are at now. So, Elka died, and here's a philosophical dilemma: what should I do in this? What should you do in this situation? Like. Your wife died, and it was difficult, it was sad, but it was bearable. At least you had your daughter. You, 
you kind of saw your the love of your life aka your wife or your partner generally speaking um in the in the in the eyes in the face of your child but if your child dies as well the grief and sorrow is probably very big for some it might be even unbearable so can we blame Elika's father for what he did um, it's true that the consequences of letting Arman go are global so it affects everyone but at the same time it's very hard to think about other people when you are having problems and when you are having even though he's a ruler right um it's very hard to think about other people uh, when you're in a kind of despair or uh, sadness or grief or whatever feeling the burden is really heavy and so this is why um, as I said the, the the situation is very philosophical and in the end Prince will have a um, another philosophical um, actually not another the same choice saving Elka or not and it's just I don't know what to choose in this situation I, I don't know what would I choose um, it's true that it's just um, this is the best example of if I'm to choose between a greater and a lesser evil I'd rather not choose at all usually though the stakes are just too high usually in choosing the greater evil who do good albeit in a small way albeit in a small way most times you make a choice and never look back and I feel like after playing The Witcher 3 I especially in 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 philosophical situations as this one I always come back to this um, to this quote and I just um, it's great when you're not in a position where you need to choose when you especially when the situation is very difficult and you don't know what to choose and you need to choose something um, so I'm really happy that I'm not in such situation because um, in Prince situation or someone else's situation but in some kind of a difficult situation but I feel like it's very difficult. I don't know what she did choose in this situation. Found it. Did you save your daughter? But um, doom the world. Bring the apocalypse on the world, or should you think about the world, but um, live with this um, sorrow and grief of losing your wife, and then losing losing your daughter. I mean, I understand that this in such situation probably some people might consider suicide as an option. Because um, I've seen situations like that. I've heard situations like that. I've seen uh, people who uh, did um, uh, he took who took their lives because they were um, uh, in a very 
sad and difficult situation after losing their relatives. Um, I let you think about it and you can leave a comment. Expressing your thoughts about this situation or generally about such philosophical dilemmas. And I'll stop here, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the end of part four. I'll continue very, very soon.